What is up, ladies and gents? Yes, this is May. I know we haven't been, in, we've been MIA for a long time, but she is done. She is ready for the new owner. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. Alright guys, as you know, you saw our welcome to May and then our first week of renovation. It's been about six weeks since we've seen you guys, but Zach has been busting his butt to get this project done. And as you know, this is a 1978 Airstream Argosy 30 foot. Here is the nice king bed with storage underneath. The bed also lifts and there is your fresh water tank underneath. Behind those two doors up there is a radio and it works. You can hook up your phone through Bluetooth or through a cord. And if you look all the speakers around here, you'll see that it plays your, through your whole Airstream. And those two black lights right there actually touch. So you get to touch those on and voila, you have reading space. We have two Max Air fans, one right here and then one right there, right before you get to the bathroom. And then we have one nice vent right here. This vent is good just to remove all the hot air out. And then also when you're cooking right here, it's just nice to suck everything out. We also have another little fan right here. We've used this in our past project. Love this fan. So good to suck everything out. So you're good in that department. This is actually the original range. It's in great working shape. So we didn't want to toss it. It's just kind of gives it a nice vibe in here to your nice sink with your faucet and then Zach built his custom cabinets drawer, another little cabinet and then onto this side you still have amazing prep space some shelving for whatever you want to put on it and then we have a Dometic three-way fridge it feels so good in there come out all right, some more storage, and there is a microwave down there. Nice and hidden, if you still want to use it though. Drawer. And then we have two big cabinets that could be your pantry, storage, whatever you want to do. Moving on to this bed slash lounge area. So nice cushion, we have another touch light right here. And then shelving up above. My favorite part that Zach built are these two bar stools. So, you have dining space um, and it's workspace, really whatever you want. There's also some cubbies back here, you put baskets, whatever you want to put. And they just tuck mm. away. And then this amazing cherry wood countertop. It literally just like goes on for days. That is the second fan, Max Air fan that we talked about. And then right above that, here we have our Dometic AC Penguin with the heat pump. And keep coming back to our bathroom space. The only thing we did not get to finish in here yet, um, that we just have to go to the store, but we live forever away from it, is we need another curtain for this closet. And you have a huge closet. And then we also made the shower rod that we will just have to put a shower curtain. So that is the only thing left to do, but we wanted to go ahead and film this. We also have a little stool that's coming in for the tub, but you have a nice tub. You have your sink and your toilet. Underneath you have some storage. And then right back here is your electrical panel, so it's easy access to over there. And then also the black water tank is there. All right guys, and then probably our favorite light so far that we've had. We have one, two, th we have three that look like this and then one more in the bathroom that's a little bit of a different style. It's from Lucent Light Shop. And it's pretty, like, look how pretty these are. And then also I showed you that one touch. We showed you the two touches above the bed and then here is our last touch light. So it is nice if you just don't want to turn on all your lights or bother anyone you need to get up real quick, you can tap that. 